we're currently at the Europort terminal uh, in Antwerp, where the containers that are being loaded with liquid CO2 are being dropped off by Vamur. Project Greensand is the most progressive CCS project in the European Union and entails the first cross-border CO2 transport. And we are part of it. We need to have the right laws in place, the right regulatory support. So we have a consortium of a number of partners uh, that have come together to work really closely on uh, making sure this is a success. Well, as Port of Antwerp, we host the biggest petrochemical cluster of uh, Europe, the second largest of the world. The challenge in the energy transition is to change not only the production of uh, energy, for instance, but to rethink the whole energy system. And so having green sand leading the way and bring that liquefied CO2 by ship and go to Denmark is a, a nice thing to have. For Danish shipping, it's not only CCS, it's CCTS. And why? Because the transportation part of this equation is really important. There's no doubt that there is a huge complexity to start a carbon capture transport storage adventure that we are engaging in now. And that's why government support is so vital. We need strong partners like INEOS, and we need also strong shipping companies who can build the ships that can transport the carbon into the North Sea for storage. We're establishing a full value chain from capturing the emissions to transporting that offshore into the North Sea and then safely storing that for millions of years to come. In this pilot project, we can only transport 800 tons of CO2 per journey. The plan for the future is to no longer use ISO container and this PSV, but to use specially built liquid gas carriers that can do the transport much more efficiently. The pilot is 15,000 tonnes to prove the injectability, but over time, 4 to 8 million tonnes per annum is around 40% of Denmark's commitment to carbon capture or to CO2 reduction. The government has been very involved in helping us do this. There is no way we can fail on this. We need to get the right things in place in order for us to also have carbon capture storage in place no later than 2025.